Okay. Let's get that. Oh, what's the other one? Buy a car? Avenger. Quadra- hey, Quadra Type 66? Isn't that the same, um, base model as the Javelina? Can buy that too, if it's around here. Is it around here? Am I gonna be able to tell? Where am I? Hey, there's a tarot card here. Should probably get that while we're in the area. You can't track it. Oh, is it one of the ones that I got already? Oh! Perfect! It's... Perfect! <laughs> okay, why not? I'm pretty sure it's the same model, though. Hmm. Is Type 66 like the default non-modified version and then Javelina is like the um, Badlands modified version, maybe? Hey, Sig just came saying you bought wheels. Prem. Hope you get some good mileage out of it. Thanks, man. Alright. We can go get our surprise reward in style. Now, just because the base model is the same doesn't mean that it's gonna handle the same. Uh, this one feels a little bit slipperier. Slipperier? More slippery? Maybe? I feel like it is. Oh. Short ride. Sorry. Thank you. $3,000. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We're using a lot of money just by buying cars that we're probably not going to drive. But at the same time, we're making a lot of money too, so it's not really that big of a problem. Surprisingly, a high danger job around here. Wow. Oh, I don't think we've met Dino before, have we? Should probably go say hi. Takemura can wait. <laughs> it's like our mantra. Malted Iguana Liquors. Uh, everyone's a sellout these days. All these great artists falling one by one. Someone told my mother 50 years ago the Eurodyne would sell out too? If you're a rebel, you die for what you believe in. Or you live long enough to join the system and fade away. No other option. Well said, June. Another decade or two, nobody will even remember the guy. They'll find another kid with big dreams, promise him a mountain of Gannet gold, then muzzle him with a corporate contract. Shit, man. We believed in you, Carrie. Carry Eurodyne? Yeah, we read about the Samurai's current day fate, and like about half of them just ended up doing a normal job. It was kind of like, like reading the website felt like it was, um, oh, the kids' rebellious phase is over now. The only one who's dead, Johnny, he seems to still have that spirit of being completely anti corpo. Hey, man! So, Dino, what's good downtown? Shit! Place is burning up, girl. What kind of fire? Since that Saka bitch showed up, all them suits are shitting themselves like they ate day old caliente. Biz Anako? fucking booming. Everybody's gotta have a piece of old Uncle Dino. All right, Dino. In the mood to party, where do I go for a good time? I hear Carrie Uridine setting up a real prime shindig. I'll get you in. Just give me a little time. Carrie likes you. Oh, cool. But I thought he sold out. Selling out is such a negative word, but sometimes you just gotta put food on the table, you know? You Johnny Silverhand? <sighs> Come on. A little young for that. <laughs> Did hit one of his gigs once. Real fucked up. Decent gig? Yeah, I played normal. But Johnny apparently had some soccer suit tied up backstage. Said if they didn't get at least three encores, he'd bash the poor bastard's faceplate in. Johnny had style, kid. Some would call that style. Others would probably call that a act of terrorism. I guess this is supposed to be a nice club and all, but in, during the daytime, it's kind of subdued. Not many people really hardcore partying here. Okay, well, nice meeting ya, Dino. Oh, two bathrooms. Hey! Sorry, sorry. But you're the one who walked into me. 
All right. Okay, we were gonna... We're slowly getting off track. We gotta be a little bit careful here because I'm pretty sure I meant to go over here. Let's drive our car, which is... I, I don't know where my car is. You know what? I miss the Mai Mai. Mai Mai! P126! The radio is always so quiet. Oops! Not even going the right direction. I'm trying to pay attention to the radio at the same time, but it's a little bit too quiet. Why don't we listen to some songs then? Body heat? Hold on, how come I can't select anything? I'm pressing F right now, but nothing seems to be selecting. Oh, maybe that wasn't like a police car thing then. I don't know why I can't select. Hmm. Weird. Look, the Mai Mai is so nice. You can even weave through the traffic just because you're so damn small. Look at that. Nearly had a hit. But focus on... Oh, oh, oh! We're fine. We're fine. We're completely fine. Marmor Bank. It's a bank. Hey, I wonder how people's money is really stored in the future. Is everything kind of like Bitcoin and electronic now, or do we still- Oh! Okay, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this was not- Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no more talking about Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Okay. <gasps> Too easy to get distracted while driving. I just want to get over there. Oh, what's this place? Arasaka. Seems like some kind of a... Oh! No, 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 no. Hmm. There are some assaults around, but I'm not, like... Yeah, I don't have to go get them. It looks like we gotta turn around, because we gotta cross the bridge somewhere. Is there an assault here? If there is, I'll do it right now, but I don't see anything happening. It feels like something should happen because we see all these things. The containers and all that. Oh, God! Sorry, sorry, I'm a pretty bad driver today. Oh, this might be it. Yeah? Uh, it's actually on the other side. It's over here. Whoa. Somebody's got some hatred. Militech? Does contagion work on mechs? I guess the answer is yes. Who's coming? Who's coming? Oh, there's another one! There's another one. Just sort of died though. Give me that, please. Thank you. Two drones guarding a body. Looks like a net runner. Three drones guarding a body. No biggie. Are y'all happy now? Case Mod and Dino Dinovic. Yeah, I heard about Barnes. Yeah, so it's about her. So someone helped her under that train? Exactly. I mean, I know it. You just gotta get the proof. Well, how about a little hack job? Which station? Memorial Park. 
Best thing would be some CCTV footage. I'd buy that. Yeah, of course. I'll see. Just be careful. Militech wants to shut this whole thing down, quick. Fuck, maybe you already got your eyes up in the NCARD subnet. Nah, not like them. Not on external systems. Probably just wipe the files. Simple data recovery? Those smartass suits sometimes forget the simplest tricks. Whatever you say. You know the deal. You work your magic, I just stand back and admire. Hmm. She was caught a little bit too off guard. Got done in by a few drones. Oh, I guess she was trying to hack into a data point here. Hmm. You can't get caught off guard. You only have one life. YOLO, unironically. Sorry, everybody. I stopped traffic. Of course. Fuck Chris. If you're willing to fix my back, I'm in. Of course it didn't work. Yeah, exactly. Just a few months later, the name isn't design. around anymore either. The quest remains. Where did EBM get their knockoff of them? I never had much of a gene hacking division. What are they talking about? Some conspiracy theories about how Biotechnica is releasing mutant monsters in the Badlands. That could be true, because I'm pretty sure we've seen some victims of cyberpsychosis in the Badlands. And Biotechnica seems to be all about the protein farms and whatever. I wonder if Saul is involved with that. Who? Tiger Claws? Hello! 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 Whoa, whoa! You and your knife! I've got a knife too! Yeah, I've got a knife. You've got a hacker. No more hacking. Anybody else? Archive. Archive discovered activity Lori Anderson last 24 hours. Connected to Ho O Casino Net. Activated program Hydra. A hack? Got money from the ho account into her own account. But then they figured it out and they came to kill her. Hmm. A while ago, we talked about how, hey, if I were poor, I feel like learning hacking would be a pretty useful skill in trying to um, get money quick. But obviously, all these corps and even just the ho o freaking casino, Jotaro Shobo's casino, they have a heck ton of security, so it's not as easy as I make it sound. No! No. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more gig around the corner. Hey, now you're playing music. Was I doing something wrong or can I really not change the channel? Oh, maybe all I have to do to change the channel is roll over it? Oh, I guess so. Because now I'm not hearing anything. Weird. It's just that when I'm pressing F, nothing is happening. Hmm. We're back in Japantown yet again. Because we gotta meet Takemura later. Let's see. Oh! This one is unknown. We don't even know what type this is. We'll just have to find out when we get there. Woo. Hopefully without killing anybody. Oh, are you kidding me? We're back in Mega Building- Wait, is it the vending machine again? Again? Already? Hey buddy, what's wrong? Hey, the- The garbage dump is gone. He did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. 
And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I know this can all feel like too much. But you have your own happiness to worry about, Theo. We can't always help other people. Thanks, Brendan. What would I do without you? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. Who's Donald Lundy? Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Who installed the therapist mod on Brendan? <laughs> hey. Hey, Brendan. Got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? Severed and put in a package! Oh, wow, that's... Where did you learn these things? Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? <laughs> Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a Tiancha? Do you remember that Delamain car that we ran into who wanted to run himself into the sea? I wish I could bring him here to talk to you. You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier, you thought of a joke. You're a sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. <laughs> Do we just come back periodically to hear some jokes? I gotta pay attention to the location sometimes because I didn't think that was gonna be... Brendan again. But it is. Well, Takemura's right here, and after this, I know we should be spacing things out, but look at the freaking... Yeah, look at this one! The other main quest is now very low. It kind of makes me feel like I should probably do this one before doing Takemura, but... We already started this one, so I'll do this one. But then later on, we should probably make some time to um, get back to this one, too. Okay. Oh, he's all the way up so high. Um, Takemura mentioned meeting on a bridge or something. Uh, the fox and the prey and whatever. So I'm sure it's got to do with that. Oh no, the minimap is telling me to go someplace else again. Maybe I should just go up here. Oh, might not be high enough. Might not be high enough. Mm. Oh, stairs. Oh my goodness. Homeless camps. Everybody wants a Ripper. Now, judging by that, I feel like Rippers are actually pretty dang rich, but it also doesn't feel like that's the case. Maybe there's some Rippers interested in helping some poor people out too, but kind of... kind of highly doubt it. It just feels like, in general, Rippers should be a lot more well-off than I think of them as being. This is not gonna help me get up, is it? It's right up there. Okay, should I follow the minimap marker, I guess? Huh. Oh, elevator! Take the public elevator! That's right. This has been your world report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Dead air. Oh my god, they're just having dead air here. <laughs> For once, I actually wanted to listen. NC Nightlife drinks dancing debauchery. Yes. Yes, Lizzie's. Speaking of which, I never found time to go back to Lizzie's yet. To meet Susie. 
Samurai, 30 years later, facts, myths, and more myths. When Silverhand formed Samurai, he did so as a fully-fledged artist. He knew what he wanted. As the group's charismatic leader, he knew how to impose his vision on the rest of the band. That wording sounds kinda... not so great. The roles in the group were clearly divided. Johnny and Carrie Urdine were the inspired provocateurs, the continually conflicted soul of the band. Meanwhile, Henry, bass, lived in his own world, even in those rare instances when he wasn't high out of his mind. He may never have known how good he was. Rumor had it, Silverhand was sleeping with Henry to keep him in the band. Silverhand was also rumored to be sleeping with Carrie to boost the latter's morale. The truth is, Johnny was sleeping with everyone, though his heart wasn't always in it. Hmm, not surprised. Soon after Samurai's breakup, Henry suffered a literal shock in an accident, after which he began behaving even more strangely than usual, and then, almost as if he'd been ready and waiting to jump at the chance, he hit rock bottom. Nancy, keyboards, was a single reasonable normal person in the group. She came to a gig, played to the best of her ability, then went home. Only thing was, her toxic, aggressive piece of shit husband was at home too. He ended up tightening his grip on her enough that she left the band. Soon after, he tried to turn the screw some more, but something in Nancy snapped. She finally remembered her murky gang past, and her husband had more than enough to think about as he fell 80 floors down. Oh my god. How is he alive? After seven months spent in jail, Nancy returned to Samurai, but it wasn't the same. In the end, she left again for good and started a new media career as Bez Isis for- Oh! N54 News. Oh, yeah, one of them went to become a... news announcer. And we met her son too. Her son was complaining about how, oh, it's really tough being a famous person's son. But your mom is so respectable now. I mean, not that being a part of a band is not respectable. Well, I mean, it kind of is, traditionally. Denny, drummer and high-functioning neurotic plagued by thousands of real and imagined obsessions, was only truly herself on stage. Off stage, she spent most of her time trying to prove to herself she wasn't as fucked up as everybody seemed to think. That's likely why she took up with Henry. Compared to him, Denny was normal indeed. If it hadn't been for Silverhand's legendary hatred of managers, those slick ass-kissers who told you what to say and when, when and where you were gonna play and who you had to play nice with, Samurai could have achieved much greater success. Instead, they always remain a punk alternative, icons of cool and uncompromising rebellion. One day, you can't get into one of their gigs, the next, you could walk right by a whacked-out Silverhand puking into the river. And that's what Johnny would call true freedom, before barfing on your shoes. Silverhand's death was what truly launched Samurai into the realm of legend and out of reality. Mm-hmm, because if you're alive, now you get to see... Uh, Nancy become a news announcer. That must be kind of disheartening if you are a fan. Carrie Uridine, second conflict. Oh, did he go solo afterwards? Huh, oh, read this one. Takemura. Wow, we've never seen the market before. Let's chill out. Four Euro dollar burger shop. Cyberware controversy in football. Never before in a single night has a crowd snapped so abruptly and so frequently between euphoric cheers and deafening silences. The most recent match between the NC Corsairs and the San Diego Shredders ended an overwhelming victory for Night City, but it was another team that stole the spotlight. Trauma team paramedics airlifted out a record seven players during the game due to potentially life-threatening injuries. Three still remain in stable but critical condition. This game's unusual spike in injuries was the result of a months-long feud between the two franchises that had hit a boiling point. Shredders' head coach, Darnell Irving, has repeatedly accused the Corsairs of breaking league rules by allowing players to equip military-grade cyberware. Corsairs' organization representatives have refuted the allegations, claiming the rules contain no such clear-cut cyberware guidelines. Night City's head coach even went so far as to say that San Diego would be wise to make the same upgrade instead of crying like babies whenever they get their asses kicked. What he doesn't mention, however, is that the NC Corsairs have a sponsorship deal with Night Corp, granting them exclusive rights to equipment designed in Night Corp's top-secret football science lab, Salt in the Wound. Of course, unpersuaded, the San Diego faithful have argued to the League that the use of military-grade technology is damaging to the game's integrity and future. Football analysts and commentators, on the other hand, have dismissed the controversy, saying that the arms race mentality has always been pervasive in sports. Their case in point, the 2064 Night City Marathon, in a record-setting and uncontested victory, 
Austrian runner Dominic Baum blazed past favorites from the Czech Republic and France because of Vienna's close partnership with ZetaTech. Now, we talked about this briefly a long time ago when we were with Vic back in his office because he used to be a boxer or he's some kind of like a recreational, now recreational, but used to be professional boxer. If we can't take drugs, stimulants as athletes, then I feel like there should be some regulation for cyberware too. But is anybody going to implement that? Depends on if it makes them money, probably. Nice clothing. What do I say? Say hi. That's right. For some reason, Night City is not part of the Noosa. Somehow. You fucking blind and it seems like that's a bad thing because Night City seems to be doing worse, at least on the crime front. Oh hell no! I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Suits know one sparks all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not supporting your brand name. For several hours, as residents could not connect to Talking of the, the police? Ah, uh, you are here. Hmm. Dude, you have a freaking Arasaka logo on your head. Good to see you. As it is to see you, B. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His hey! murderer. The irony makes me sick. Your Nobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He's shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. No one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Hmm? The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I <sighs> learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. That still doesn't explain how you're gonna jump onto it. Uh, hacking is not my forte. I, oh, I can't say it because it's too good. I'm There's too good no at it. to waste me. Hmm. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. What kind of guarantee is that? He took your money already. He can run away. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know.
Let us move on. Yorinobu being the one who cares about the parade the most is equivalent to if you play something like Among Us and you kill somebody and then you call a meeting. This is not a good time to panda life. You call a meeting and nobody suspects that you're the killer. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I'm your backup. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. But I feel like Oda is gonna... Now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Oda's gonna try to stop us, I feel like. And he's always with Hanako, right? So this is gonna be... Not that easy. Whoa, how else would I get in if I don't have... Oh, maybe I go in through there. If I don't have body 5. Body 6. Understand? So much for being a super hacker. We're not waiting until tomorrow this time, right? We're actually just doing it. I don't know when the parade is happening. Daytime, I suppose? Excuse me, Goro. I'm just gonna do some reading here. Oh, pfft. Security room, but no security. Okay. What am I looking at here? It fucking worked. Mmm. But this is the security room with the laxest security I've ever seen. It's just a room. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... I'm not sure if you can say that the shard working in one place means that it'll work everywhere, though. Alright. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. I don't think he's a bad guy. Well, I don't know if he is a bad guy, actually. Hmm. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. And the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. I don't think he's a bad guy, though. He seems pretty tame so far. Hey, I want to eat. What is this? Hey, yakitori. <laughs> okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. 
we had Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Yes. Oh, can I please eat first? I want to try how bad it is too. I haven't eaten since forever. If you'll excuse me. Did I just eat two in one go? Thank you. Thank you for being patient. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? Oh well. That is a different matter. <laughs> I would advise you to watch your distance. Okay, so we have to potentially get ready for a big fight then. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him stray even a couple of feet and you can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go with him, V. I want to, too. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. What did you even eat? You ate like one bite? Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to die of our In the flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he called this a bridge. The last obstacle between himself and the complete power. The and they surrendered it to him. Tell me then. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Aras, <laughs> an empire built to last. Before you're in set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Kso! Kso is shit. They didn't even let Yorinobu finish talking just now. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. What's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The pheasant. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Dove. Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. We read about it. Do we know the general numbers of what who is supporting each faction? I imagine the traditionalists probably prefer Hanako to Yorinobu. Because Yorinobu has that rebellious background. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him. In person. You no, know, I feel like it's easy to imagine how it might have happened. His dad pushed him too hard when he was younger, so he's like, You're you're not even my real dad. I'm gonna run away from home or something. There's no time to waste, B. Well, why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, 
his tail between his legs. She persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked, but we will correct this soon. Will you join me? I wish you would look at me. Yes. Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Hungry people are not choosy. <laughs> <laughs>